Greg Benson, hello, hello. Hi. Hi. So I would love for you to kind of just introduce us, tell us a little bit about your story because you have a different start. You were actually a working actor who then made the transfer to YouTube to become a personality. Uh, I did start off as a working actor. Um, I moved out to LA from Texas in 99, uh, 1991 and did a lot of uh, commercials. I did over 100 commercials, uh, TV wow. and film stuff. And I kept really busy and it was really fun. Um, but the life of an actor is uh, uh, exhausting mm -hmm. and uh, it's a lot of sitting in traffic and driving all around town and auditioning and lots and lots of rejection. And actors have no control over the roles they get, if they right. get any at all. Right. And I just kind of got tired of it after a while and I really wanted to create opportunities for myself and give myself uh, roles that I wanted to play. So what's that first role that you made for yourself? It's all just crazy, goofy stuff. I mean, ridiculous comedy. The kind of stuff that I never got cast in. I, I did a lot of drama on TV. I'm gonna eat a hamburger! I know I'm just a sophomore, but I can feel the clock ticking away. And I know that if I leave high school, I'll have, I'll have nothing to show for it. I rarely got to be the funny guy. Uh -huh. And I just love comedy. What would you say you learned most um, from that first video that you posted on YouTube a very long time ago? Well, overall what I've learned is that uh, you, need to, you need to just keep it up. Mm -hmm. Even when it gets uh, difficult, you need to just keep creating and posting videos. Um, because if, if one or ten in a row don't work out for some reason and people don't like them, maybe the eleventh one will. Mm -hmm. you know? and, it's consistency matters just as much, if not more so, as quality. What has your experience here at VidCon been like? I love VidCon. VidCon's so much fun because, you know, you see that you've got these huge numbers, but the numbers don't mean anything. It's, mm -hmm. it's a number that I can't imagine. I can imagine a thousand people. You know, I, I went to Comic-Con last week. There's a room that had 1,800 people in it. I can imagine mm -hmm. 1,800 people, but I can't imagine a hundred million people. Because it's insane. It doesn't make any <laughs> sense. It just doesn't make any sense to me. That's, that's, that's about as the, the same amount that watched the Super Bowl. 100, wow. 130 million, something like that. And I, I just, it's a number that doesn't make sense to my brain. My brain can't wrap around it. Yeah. Well, so. with all those views, it's safe to say you've had a ton of comments left on your videos. Huh. What to you is the best comment you've ever received from a viewer? <laughs> You know, there are good comments and there are bad comments. The good comments um, are the ones where people say that I've inspired them to make videos. Mm -hmm. That makes me feel great, that I've inspired someone to be creative, you know, and do their own work. Mm -hmm. And I, I like to check out their stuff and I wish them all the best and I think that's awesome. Sometimes people say, uh, you know, uh, one of the comments that I get, especially on my second channel is, uh, will you adopt me? Which I think is nice. That's a really well, nice thing. It's oh my you, gosh! It's YouTube, and you know, most of my demographic—they're much younger. There are a lot. I have a lot of teenagers who watch my stuff, and I'm 43. So you know, they they can look up to me as a as a goofy fa father figure. That's fine by me. You have one million children. Is that what you just told us? I have a million children. I, d I don't I don't really, really remember most of their mothers. Is this what we're talking about? Mm. We're talking about something different. I don't know. Uh, that's maybe really, I, I'm that's really interesting. Too much. To that's answer your question about earlier, <laughs> okay, there's a huge number of viewers, right? But here at VidCon, I get to actually meet some of them in person, and mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, and they tell me their channel names or their Twitter names, and I, I recognize a lot of them because a lot of fans are very uh, active in mm -hmm. their responses. So to actually meet them in person and put a face to the name is great. It's priceless. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Greg, for it, joining us. It was a pleasure.